Hi everyone, my name's Lawrence Cheney and I'm a drag queen from Glasgow. Today, I'm going to show you how to become a woman. Yeah, that's right, a woman. <laughs> if you want to see me go from thumb to woman, then keep on watching. So I'm just going in with my highlight colour because I'm so pale that is absolutely shining white. So our first step to becoming a woman is doing our base and highlight. So normally for full kind of drag makeup, I'd put my contour uh, concealer on, but because I want this to look very natural and womanly, I am just going to highlight and do my base. And now that's the easy part done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set it. all up in those pores. So I'm setting my face with a translucent powder. <coughs> Talc. So I'm going to dust all that off. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. So because of copyright reasons, I'm not allowed to tell you the products I use, but I'm using a brown concealer to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to trace out the outline first. What I'm doing is I'm concentrating most of the colour at the end, because that's where you want the darkest point to be, and then at the uh, sort of middle of your forehead where the brows start, you want that to be the lightest, that's why I'm putting the kind of least amount and I'm just kind of slightly drawing it on. You know, talent, shapes, sizes, all those things. And now we're going to set it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in like individual hairs because I want to look like a real woman. We're gonna say it. Now some people say this is too much powder. Most people are fools. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna contour the man away in my forehead. And there we go, we've contoured away our five head. Let's move on to eyes. So I'm just going to map out my crease with again this brown concealer. Yes, I do most of my face on it. And no, I do not feel guilty. So what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of my manly hooded lid saggy eyebrow. Time to get a better brush and we're gonna drag it out, pun intended. Now again, just because this concealer, the brown concealer is still wet, I'm just taking the white and the brush and I'm just kind of Blending out those edges before we go in with the powders. Now we're gonna set it. Yeah, mush it all over the eye. Don't be too rough though, you don't want to go blind. Just taking a brown eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go on top of the crease that we just set. I always blend in circular motions. I don't know why, but I see it a lot on YouTube. And you gotta believe these gurus. So I'm also just taking a darker shadow and I'm just putting that 
down at the side because that's where your eyeliner is going to meet. So that's going to be where your black is and then you're going to kind of get lighter as you go down. I'm going to deepen the crease more with a black. But I'm just going to start blending that black in. So just to add some warmth, I am going to just put a bit of orange on the outer corner of the eyelid. So now that all that kind of detail is done, I am going to just prime the rest of my face and just continue my foundation and highlight and contour on the bottom half. Just put my base down and my highlight. And blend. I'm just adding white to the high points of my face. So that's uh, down the bridge of the nose, under your eyes, uh, Cupid's bow, chin, forehead. Just blend out the line, but don't blend too all over the place because you don't want to get rid of all that work you put in. So I'm just going to set the whites on my nose with white eyeshadow. And now just set the rest of your face. Because my family believes having a neck is an urban myth. I am going to have to draw my own neck in because I want to look like I have cheekbones. Start with the lightest contour shade. Start by the ear because that's where the darkest point is going to be. You want to just blend it downwards. Now for the part that's going to change everything, liner. Now you've got your beginning and end, you just need the middle. So I'm just going to continue with my eyeshadow but I'm going to go underneath my eye. So obviously start with the lightest shade first, which is going to be this orange. See, you'd think I was a professional. And just before I finish off and do my lips, I'm going to highlight the end of my nose so I look like Rudolph. Now I know what you're all going to think. Why aren't you using a lip lining pencil? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I'm on a budget. So yet again, I'm going to use the same concealer from earlier. But I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to outline the lips and essentially put like a lighter colour in there so it'll create like an ombre, light to dark, dark to light, you know where it's going. Next, mascara. And now just some finishing touches. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, bye.